What's up guys, uh, shout out to you here, gonna be opening some TCG Pokemon cards for you tonight. So I'm gonna be opening six different boxes. Uh, the first one is gonna be a Legends of Johto pin collection box. Comes with three separate packs of uh, three pins and three booster packs, which consist of right now, uh, Sun and Moon, Evolutions, and Steam Siege. And these are gonna be a bit of a pain in the arse to open up. They're quite easy to get out of the box luckily it's just an open up on the top and the pins look amazing i love the pins we'll get to get to see what's all in these cards now just a quick intermission i actually never really showed uh, kind of what the packages look like so i'm just going to lift you up here and uh, as you can see there's the pins three packs nice little collection which i am uh, very excited to be opening up and I actually just recently took out the Suicune one, so you can uh, see the beautiful uh, pin. Love these things. I can't wait to be uh, giving them to my sister for Christmas. Give her a little cork board and let her check her out, and maybe give her a little something extra after as well. As I said, I'll just quickly finish up opening these packs, and then I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so we're back. Uh, I finished opening up the packages, and I just wanted to show off these, uh, these pins one more time, since I actually love how they look and uh, if you're Canadian the price is only about 35 bucks I actually got them a little bit cheaper uh, from EB games just due to uh, being Black Friday today I've actually got them for a small discount along with a few other things that I uh, picked up today but how I'm going to do it is I'm going to start with the Steam Siege I'm going to move on to uh, the Sun and Moon and then I am going to open up the Evolutions packs. Hopefully we get something nice. Uh, if not, more to my collection, I cannot complain. So, uh, out of the three, let's go with, uh, let's go with Elbelto. Elbelto. The packs opening is actually quite easy. I've slowly learned how to open these correctly. Uh, sometimes they don't agree with me. And... I do not know how to fully open these quite yet, so that's a white card. Uh, I'm not going to be handing out uh, TCG codes just yet, but so it looks like these Steam Siege cards are actually three, so I kind of ruined it for me. So we got Drift Blim, Zoilus, Claw, Fossil Anorth, Joltik, Larvesta, Rufflet, Bonita, Meowth, a Reverse Lit Leo, and a Gardevoir uh, EX card, which I actually think is a pretty darn nice card. Uh, I do have some sleeves here. They are obviously not the best sleeves to be using right now. Uh, these are all I have from what I've recently purchased, but I do plan on getting some clear ones so that we can actually look for the borders. The borders are not terrible. I think it might be a bit thicker in the bottom and it looks a little bit smooth on the, a little bit, maybe a tad bit thicker on the right. The look around the border as well isn't too, too bad. It doesn't look like there's too, like any scuffs or anything. So definitely can't complain about that. Alrighty, let's see if this next pack gives us anything any good. And we just got a green. It's so nothing too great. We'll do one, two, three. Come with a uh, special charge, a shield on, Fletchender, Nose Bass, another Litleo, a Sneasel, adorable card, Yanma, Apom with his uh, brothers and his sister in the back there, a reverse Nido King card, and a rare normal Avalog. So that's not too too bad it's honestly i would say it's pretty good uh what we got going on for the first bit like i would definitely not complain about that one white card gardevoir is always one of my favorite so i definitely can't complain i actually think in the a past pack i actually opened i got uh one of the secret rare cards of gardevoir the unfortunately the borders were not great i think it was slightly rotated so it was a little painful to see, but unfortunately it was another green code. We got Duat, Halucha, Anorith, 
Arvesta again, Drifloon, Ponyard, C Dots, Clink. Ooh, we got a Clawitzer Break card, which is pretty cool. I always forget that these uh, are in some of these other packs. It always throws me off. And then we got just a normal jump off rare card. I'm going to quickly throw uh, the break card in a sleeve. And actually, I'm going to show the borders. Uh, it's not too, too terrible. Might be a little bit thicker on the, on the right. It's not too bad uh, in total. Just another one to the collection, so I definitely can't complain. And uh, next time, we're going to move on to the Sun and Moon packs. Ooh, and this one really opened really easily. I actually like that. That actually makes me really happy. Uh, another green code, which is not too bad. One, two, three, four. So Sun and Moons are, uh, are four from the back. So you start with an energy card, the Krokorok, Kukimuku, Double Colorless Energy, Grubbin, Kiro, Snubble, Sandile, Pickpeck, a reverse Araquanid and a Bruxious. That is, that thing is a, it's, it haunts my dreams. And it always seems to be in, no matter what pack I buy, it always seems to be in the pack that I purchase. And it's, uh, it, it's very discomforting. I wish that it, uh, whatever Pokemon was smoking that, that, at that time, I wish they, uh, Decided not to go for that, but it is what it is. I definitely can't complain. And then another green card for the next Sun and Moon, which is always, always sad to see. It's a lot of dead energy, which again, I apologize. I wish I had a better setup, but because I don't, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a touch and go bit for a bit here. So we got Trumbeak, Corsla, love Corsla. Some energy retrieval, Crab Brawla, love that Eevee. Sandy Gast, Poliwag, which is an interesting, like, hand-stitched kind of, kind of look to it. Move my thumb there. Uh, Skarmory, a Reverse Two Cannon, and Incineroar, which I uh, honestly love. Incineroar. I know he's when he first came out, people thought he was going to be a fighting type with his uh, fire, and it was kind of nice to see that they had a little bit of a mix where they added the dark instead. It was kind of fun to watch people uh fall for the the way that he looked and and stuff like that one two three four another dark energy got an xp share spinda lily rog and rolla growlith alolan meowth dupider alolan diglett Oh, reverse Decidueye. I love Decidueye and, and a normal rare two cannon. So they weren't going to get me out of here until I had a two cannon. The best part is, is I have been recently opening uh, Vivid Voltage packs, and that's the one card that I can't seem to find, yet I see everybody else seems to like gets every single one. So I opened two boxes, and two cannon, Manetric, a few others were just not in my favor, and it's actually pretty unfortunate so just opened up the evolutions back and it's three to the front so we start with a revive a slow bro spirit link super potion magikarp an energy card caterpie ghastly diglett reverse haunter which i don't think i have yet and a normal rare star me that one's not too bad and a lot of the from what i've seen a lot of I don't think I really need to, but I'm gonna going to put Haunter into a sleeve anyways, just because some of the some of these rarity cards or reverse hollows are big for what people like to go for. So I've gotten a few decent pulls, and I kind of wish there was a box I uh, opened earlier today, which I actually wish I had uh, recorded, because it came with an evolutions pack and a mega. Uh, Venusaur EX card was in there, uh, and actually, the card, the pack that I opened before that, 
for evolutions was Omega Charizard EX. So it's a little insane, some of my polls recently, but I'm loving it. So we got a white code here. Love that. You love to see it. It's always going to be a, having a hollow. One, two, three for the evolutions. So we start out with Nidorino. Another Super Potion. Brock's Grit. Onyx. Magikarp. Stone Energy. Staryu. Tangela. A reverse Nidoran. And a Hollow Mew. And I do have one of these, but it is always nice to see a Hollow Mew. I love the reflection coming off the Hollow Mew. And Mew in general is just one of my favorite cards from the original 151. Uh, it's, I don't know how to explain it, just just an adorable little Pokemon. And nice to, to see it bouncing around. It always reminds me of a uh, original 151. Uh, as he says, that's me. So I'm opening the last pack from the uh, pin boxes. It's another normal green code, but that's never too bad because you can always get a nice uh, reverse ho hollow out of these. So I definitely can never complain. So I got Misty's Determination, Revive, Haunter, Tangela, Vulpix, Fire Energy, Voltorb, Charmander, a reverse Poliwag, and a normal Beedrill. Normal rare Beedrill, I should say. So the next box that we are going to open, and I don't know how well you will see it, but I'm going to throw it up here right now, is the uh, Valerian Surfetched, and it, its original price, if you don't have a platinum card uh, for EB Games, is $32 Canadian. Uh, not a lot of people like not a lot of these people like these uh, boxes, but I enjoy them just due to the fact that, uh, as I said before, they have a they have two Darkness Ablaze packs, a Sun and Moon pack. No, they have a Sword and Shield pack, and they have an Evolutions card. And those Evolutions cards are always worth uh, the the grab. Alrighty, and we're back. So, like I said, uh, there's two one Sword and Shield. Two Darkness Ablaze and an Evolutions pack. So how I generally open these is I start with the Sword and Shield, go to the Darkness Ablaze, and then finish off with a nice uh, Evolutions pack. It's always nice to see. I'm actually going to open these or attempt to open these in front of you guys. Uh, it might be a little close, so I do apologize if it's loud. Oh, I haven't seen this one yet. It's a green card. It's the simple one, two, three, four. Ooh, that card is not looking good. You see right there. It's luckily not my, my rare card. It's Energy, Seeking, Hitmonchan, Great Ball, Galarian Ponyta, which I love, and Chino, Sobble, which is also a nice card to get. That was, that's something new. Blip, up, blip, pug, bug, blip, Boltoy, a Reverse Thievul. So I've got like two of these, and a Galarian Rare Rapidash, which, nothing too, too fancy, but definitely can't complain uh, for what we've gotten so far. It's another green card. We're not getting as lucky as I'd like, but that is fine. One, two, three, four. Energy. Ah, fire? Nope. Water. So we start out with his Wireless, a Pupitar. Pokemon Breeders Nurture, Fletching, Galarian Mr. Mime, Torchic, Aaron, Rookity, Ooh, a Reverse Bunnelby, which I like the, the design, it's definitely, definitely interesting, and a regular rare Star Raptor, and I love Star Raptor, Star Raptor the, the design for this is actually really well done, I love it, can't get enough of that, definitely can't complain. For a Star Raptor, always beautiful to see. I hate that it gets a little difficult. There we go. I'm learning, I'm learning the uh, the strats as they say for these things. Hopefully, we get a white card uh, at least out of there. And uh, ooh, look at that, we got one. So let's see what this lovely pack brings us today. It's another Water Energy, an Area Dose. Got like five of those. Familiar Bell. Rose Tower, 
Hippopotas, Centret, Larvesta, Morlol, Toxel, a Reverse Ducklet, which I quack quack, and <laughs> I'm just getting lucky today, and I love it. I love it so much. So obviously you guys didn't see, uh, like I said, the other packs, but I got a gold quick ball from my last, actually, my last uh, surfetched uh, box, actually, which is, these things are just hits for some reason for me, and I will definitely not complain. This is a beautiful Rillaboom. Uh, secret rare, actually, as you can see in the bottom right corner, right next to, uh, underneath the weakness there, it says 197 out of 100. 89 so that means this is a secret rare card i don't know if it's the last secret rare card or if there's a couple more in the background for it but we're going to throw it in here and everybody's going to be crying and screaming at me for doing this these are the only like i said the only sleeves i've got right now so i apologize in advance uh, there's not much i can do right now i will be moving them into clear sleeves and putting them also in top loaders as well so it's just a matter of time of them getting shipped to me as well as also me uh, buying them. Buying them is kind of the first important part before they ship them to me. I also will be getting some uh, Champions Path boxes as well as a few more pins collections. Uh, I unfortunately did not get the first set series of pins for the gym leaders in uh, Sword and Shield, but I am hoping to maybe find some of those in the future, but I do have this second set, and I apologize as I horribly open this up, but let's see, it's uh, unfortunately it's a green card, but that does not always mean badness, but I'm glad that that card actually was the one that took the fall, from it. so we got three, and there's a few scuffs, you can slightly, slightly see right there, it's like the third card. I think I did three. I did, okay. So we got the Switch, Coughing, Revive, Sandshrew, Onyx, Magikarp, Fighting, or Stone Energy, Staryu, a Reverse Dugon, which I don't think I have yet, and a regular rare Farfetch'd, which I do have a couple of those already, but I will not complain. Bulk is always nice uh, to have, to sell, or giveaway as well. So the next one that I'm going to do, which again, I'm gonna place right here and then do a little bit of a backup so you can see it, is the Toxicity V pack. It comes with um, at least two sword and shields. I don't know what other pack it comes with as it's kind of blocked. And then the top left one is another uh, evolutions pack so i actually opened these up and there's the evolutions cards two sword and shields and actually a cosmic eclipse uh, pack so as per usual i like to do the evolutions cards last it's i just always like to see what might show up a little bit later but we'll start with opening up a sword or yes a sword and shield making sure i'm actually looking at these knowing what i'm talking about uh Unfortunately, my nails are absolutely demolished, so please don't look at them too hard. Uh, I have a bit of a nail biting issue when it comes to being in school right now, so it's hard for me not to chew. A little bit of stress and whatnot. So we got a green card, which is a little unfortunate, but oop, almost almost ruined that. One, two, three, four. Let's see darkness? Nope, fire little game that some people like to play. I actually love Reboot. Reboot's awesome. Hop. Pokegear 3.0. Clubopus. Cottony. Choodle. Rookity. Rhyhorn. I actually haven't seen a lot of these. Sizzlepeed. Oh, that's actually the reverse. Sorry, I completely just blew past that. So that's a reverse hollow uh, Sizzlepeed, as you can see with the uh, symbols and the reflectiveness on the card. And a normal rare Rose Raid uh, card, which I actually think is a pretty nice card as well. Definitely can't complain about that card. It's always more things to add to the collection, and it is always fire. So I definitely cannot complain. But we got a little bit of a woo woo action here, and a white code. So this will be interesting to see what that is. Uh, 
later. Like I said, right now, just because I haven't been, I'm not big or anything yet, I do need these codes for myself for the time being just to uh, keep myself afloat as you can sell these codes actually through an app and some online uh, websites. So I need them. Oh, there's the darkness. Got some thwacky, a pal pad, citrus berry, wooloo, shelder, crogunk, silicobra, a chino, a glossy fleur, glossy fleur, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a reverse hollow, and a normal hollow Rhyperior, but that's still a pretty nice card, even if it is just a normal hollow card. I, as I say, as I've said, and I will continue to say it 50 million times, it is always worth it to get these and have them fill your library. Anything new is always nice, and I will definitely not complain about that. We got the gold secret rare Rillaboom, so I will definitely not complain, and this one opened so smoothly, it's kind of scary how it was practically like butter. So I think there's actually something good in here. Uh, maybe not, I saw something shine for a second there, but, and I actually don't know if this is a three pack or not. I'm actually gonna, no, it is a four pack, okay. Just checking to make sure. I'm not gonna do my guess on this one because I kind of peaked. So there's a Psychic Energy, a Flareon, I love that design. Roller Skater, Clefairy, as a uh, Manicadu or the people over at THL like to say, uh, sing that song from Pokemon Stadium. I love it. Rufflet, Piplup. Oh, look at that cutie. Alolan Vulpix, which is always a great one too. I love the design for Alolan Vulpix. Vulpix in general is a great card. Anyways, there is definitely something shiny there. I, I think it might be just the reverse card. We'll, we'll wait and see. So that was Rockruff, some Stuffle, a oh maybe not. What the. A reverse rare snow run. There is definitely something behind this. And a Volcarona GX card. So I don't know what's going on. If Cosmic Eclipse is just all green codes, I actually might have to check that. I love this card. I love Volcarona. Volcarona is a, a great Pokemon. And it's interesting. I've never seen something like that come out of a, a green code. I might have to do some research on that, actually, because... I I'm I know some basic knowledge about these cards. So like the white ones typically will hollow hold a hollow or better. And then green cards <clears throat> generally will minus a few of the the white codes because sometimes like say hidden fates, even if you have a white code, it's not a hundred percent guaranteed that you're gonna have a good hit. You'll have a reverse hollow at least, but there's no guaranteed actual hollow card. So, it'll be interesting to see uh, what I can find on on that. And unfortunately, this is another green code. We did not get a very good hit from these Evolutions packs. But I'll definitely not complain. We're going to finish this off, actually, with an Orb Beetle V pack. So, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we can get some of the ones I'm missing here. So, I got Nidorino, Super Potion, Brock's Grit, Tangela. Hollywag, Seal, Magikarp, a lot of water there. Uh, as I say that, I pull the uh, some electric out of the water, and then another water Poliwag, and <laughs> what am I doing here? It's a reverse hollow uh, Poliwag, and then an electrode for the normal rare. And those are not, com I definitely won't complain, like some reverse hollows, especially the evolutions ones, they, uh, they sell pretty decently if you know who to sell them to, so, and then, I went and got a few of these as well, I might open another box in the future, but we got the Orbital V, same price as the Surfetched ones, same price as I believe the, uh, Toxicity as well, it's a nice little box, I, uh, decided to grab two of these, on a sale because I was getting tired of not getting any or beetle cards out of these boxes. It was kind of getting a little, a little annoying. Alrighty, so one of two things that I'm going to quickly uh, do is I'm going to actually show these promo cards because they are always nice to see. 
and I enjoy seeing them. So here's the Sir Galarian Surfetched, the Toxtricity Bee, and the Ore Beetle Bee, which I always nice cards. I, I always enjoy the uh, promo cards. And then to also to clear something up, I actually thought that the Ore Beetle Bee came with four packs of Vivid Voltage, but it actually doesn't. It comes with Burning Shadows for Sun and Moon, Darkness Ablaze, and then two Vivid Voltage packs. And I actually am going to be getting two more boxes of Vivid Voltage at the beginning of the month in December, which I can honestly not wait to do because I enjoy Vivid Voltage so much. But, uh, Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, and a few of the other ones have given me some, obviously, uh, Darkness of Blaze, and a few other ones have been giving me some very nice cards. I'm actually having some trouble with this Burning Shadows card, but they it's just something with the Rainbow Rare Pikachu and a few of the other ones that are just so nice to see. And you know what? Crab Brawler is always haunting me with these packs, but I will not complain because it came with the white code. One, two, three, four. I'm hoping this is four. Yes, it is. So it comes with a grass energy. So I gotta get used to separating those. Bodybuilding dumbbells, Semipore, Soul Rock, Crap Brawler, Sneasel, always adorable. I should not be pulling them from that side. Venipede. Horsey, Cutefly, Lankenroc, which is actually a reverse Lankenroc, and a Tapu Fini GX card, which you can actually see the texture, and I love Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is a nice, beautiful card. Uh, beautiful card from the Sun and Moon uh, group. And I will actually quickly put, throw that into a sleeve because I will have to check and see if I actually have that one already. I don't know. I think I got a Tapu Fini from before. But I'll definitely have to look into my uh, collection. Let's see this one. Oh, this one's not going to be as smooth as butter as the last one. But we still got it going on. And that's actually really loud and I apologize. So we got a green code here. But we can always get some decent stuff out of it either way. So one, two, three, four. And I do apologize for this uh, kind of poor ensemble. Again, I'm Canadian, so do expect <laughs> a bit of apologies. Uh, quite a bit, actually. It, I have a very bad habit. So we got Metal Energy, a Vanillish, a Shenotic, so Shenotic, an Ursaring, Grimer, Clink, Ducklet. These cards are starting to fly away from me in the corner. That's actually got a, a normal ducklet set. Finishes the master set for that too. Um, Reap. Shout out to Ava Mareep if uh, she receives this. Highly, highly doubt it. Who knows? Paris. Ooh. A reverse bottle bee, which I think I, got, I already got one of those. That's pretty nice. Might hand her out. And a rare tick, which is also a really nice card. I like the the design of, of it there. So fierce. There's a little cup chew in the corner. And now we can go into the my favorite pack, actually. I'm hoping that I can get either some normal rares that I don't have, or maybe some ultra rares, too. And I already know that this is a white code, so this is kind of exciting. We'll see what I can get out of this. So I got a bad, a kind of bad eye for these things, where, where I look into the reflection of the pack before it's open so i know what's coming before you know what's coming unfortunately and you know what in the future i'm going to make sure that i don't show the the codes or say anything about them because that's where some of more of the excitement comes from uh but for today i might as well show them off and and kind of give you a little bit of hype like right now i'm making you excited You're like what is he gonna get what is he gonna get and we don't know, but there's a stone energy. We got Zeb Strike, a coating energy. Heroes Metal, Trubbish, Shuppets, Choodle, Riolu. Love that EV card. A reverse Swoobat. And a Togekiss VMAX. Which actually, uh, what are the odds that from one single pack I caught this? I've already got one, unfortunately, but orders are not terrible, which I like. That's always nice to see. You just love to see some nice square even cards. No chipping, no nothing. 
definitely can't complain. This is, I'm gonna have to get this into a top loader. But uh, actually my friend from the UK at Mac Adu, they actually got a Togekiss VMAX card from their 36 uh, pack, which is always nice to see. You know, unfortunately, we got another green coat here, but that doesn't mean we could have some fire in here. Nice thing about what they did with Vivid Voltage is actually in the reverse hollow slot, there are amazing rare cards, which I have four of them. I have Celebi, Jirachi, Rayquaza, Quaza, sorry, and Raikou. And so I'm just made, needing Zama, Zenta, and Zacian, which all of them are pretty awesome, but we'll have to wait and see. So we got the Darkness Energy, got a Memory Capsule, a Giraffe Rig, love the Palindrome for the name, Electric, Fanpy, Yanma, Galarian Meowth, Duskull, Voltorb. Ooh, I don't think I have the reverse holo for Zekrom, so I will happily take that. I will not complain. Now the question is, will I get a normal rare card out of this that I need? I've constantly getting the same card, so let's see here. It is a Vaporeon. Unfortunately, don't need the Vaporeon. It actually makes me want to cry a little bit, but I will not complain. I got a reverse Zekrom, which I am going to actually put in a sleeve because I like putting what I need in sleeves so that I can keep track of what I need to do with them. Honestly, not a terrible hole. I'm going to show off just like the normal reverse ones that I actually kind of needed. And then I'm also going to show some of the awesome pulls. I personally think awesome pulls out of these cards. So we start with the, the Zekrom. We're gonna start backwards. So this is a nice little Zekrom reverse hollow. We got the, uh, the Togekiss VMAX, which is always a beautiful card. I love the background, I love the texture to it. And then we got this awesome Tapu Fini GX card, which I will not complain about either. Just pointing its little fins around. Such a beautiful card. Texture as always is always great. This awesome card, I, I'm just absolutely baffled that I'm pulling freaking secret rare cards out of darkness ablaze i think i got the quick ball as well from darkness ablaze actually just today which just shows that my luck is going up but you never know it might fall back down now these are a little little quick drive-bys we got a reverse nadiran reverse dugong uh we got the hollow riperior card there love a little bit of shine to it reverse ball a wag two of those actually so we'll be seeing that one really shortly a volcarono gx from the cosmic eclipse another reverse uh polywig which i actually forgot to put in the sleeve whoopsies and then we got from another evolutions pack our hollow mew which love the shine as per usual got our reverse whoa really playing with the with the the camera there that is insane i don't know what, what is up with this card uh the Reverse Haunter, a Clawitzer Break card, and then finally, a Gardevoir EX card that we started off with, which we actually started off pretty high and then kind of kept good momentum. I was not expecting that Togekiss, and I was not expecting uh, <laughs> that Rillaboom, actually. That card is fan freaking tastic and I will take that to the bank i just can't wait to get some uh top loaders because that will definitely uh keep me in kind of check and less anxious with these cards how i'm currently keeping them in actual pokemon tins which is probably not the best place to put them but we'll see what we can do with that in the future all right guys so i'm gonna call that for the night i will promise you that we have some more we got another box of johto pins show off these lovely pins again so we got the suicune we got the entei beady freaking eyes that's a little weird maybe it's a lot better looking up oh yeah it's definitely a lot better looking up and then also the raikou beautiful pink purpley eyes there gotta love these pins actually some of the best ones uh, i actually think those are one of my favorite pins so far i do have some the lapras v max and the snorlax v max hiding around along with a few others i believe but i might have to show those off when i make the cork board uh, for my sister it won't be much, but I've got a side plan for her uh, her Christmas gift where you're just going to be doing one gift kind of Secret Santa thing. So hopefully she likes these pins and hopefully she uh, enjoys the side one as well. But anyways, I am going to leave you guys with that. 
and uh, I do have some True Steel collections, another Orb Beetle, another Surfetched box, and a Tag Team box as well as well as the Johto collection pins as well again, which I will be probably opening tomorrow depending on what I need to do for school wise. Good old college keeping you busy, having to do some homework. But uh, we're actually almost done, and we got, got like two weeks left, a week left of school, so it's going to be awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful night or day, and hopefully we see each other again in the future. I definitely recommend if you're really into Pokemon, try and pick up some cards, give it a shot. Uh, green cards, as you saw actually with the Cosmic Eclipse, still give you something apparently, even if it is a green card. Maybe it was an air card. I might actually have to ask some friends or on the Discord I'm on. Hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you guys again soon. Have a good one.